For most of the 18th century, the Caribbean Sea was a deadly place to sail. Its waters were terrorized by the fearsome Captain Remington. Rumors spread from port to port about Remington's pact with the devil. During his nefarious career, he plundered many ships and murdered even more men. Until the day armed forces finally caught up to him. What's up everybody? Today we are starting a brand new series called Nightmares from the Deep. This is a game that I've been wanting to play for quite a while. I'm only finally getting around to play. Uh, this is a... I think it's called a hidden object type of game. I'm not sure what that means. But I'm very interested in playing this mainly because I came across this game researching uh, I'm just researching pirate games for one of my own projects, and I really like the art style. Um, this game came out, I think, in 2012, so it's kind of an old game, but I'm very curious to see what this genre of game is, and also, um, I've just been really interested in playing this game just from the from the the art style and the, the amount of care and detail that seems to have gone into this um so yeah without further ado let's actually get into practice let's click this hit play now we've got two different modes we've got regular mode there is no misclick penalty I'm not sure what that means, but I don't like being handheld through things, so I'm gonna I'm gonna click expert mode, and we're gonna we're gonna go expert mode. Yeah, we're gonna go expert mode for this. I don't know how the game's played, but I'm sure we'll figure it out from, as we go. Now, 300 years later, Remington's body is being extracted from the depths of his watery grave. Soon, okay, so this seems to be somewhat day. modern day. We have cars. Oh, is this gonna be a haunted museum type game? Okay, this sounds interesting. So I do know a little bit about roughly what this game is. I've seen screenshots, so I assume this is like a point and click adventure game. Let's talk to you. Sure thing, Miss Black. I'll leave the crate at the end of the exhibition hall. Hi, Mom. I just want to sneak a quick peek at this legendary pirate, and then I'll stay out of your hair. Come on, let's check out the crate that just arrived. Is this my museum? Am I like owner of the museum? Or am I just like a a curator to sets up some of the stuff? Oh, alright. Let's have a look. Let's have a look around. What have we got here? The most infamous pirate in the world. Grand opening soon. Not for sure. If things go badly. Oh, here. Cool. It's locked. So, also need a key? It's access card. Okay. So, so far, pretty simple. I really like the art style, and I'm already, like, 
just just this room alone this is like the first i know it's the first first room but just the painted art style is really cool because the way they've done this this is a it's likely a 3d scene but it's it's a simple scene that they've blocked out in, and then they've rendered out some stills and then they've painted over the top uh to get that painted look because none of this is actual 3D, just a bunch of layered flat images that are drawn in 3D. Then you got the posters that are going in the wind, and you got the lighting from the ceiling are coming through the glass. You got the raindrops on top of the glass, and that lighting that comes through. That's likely just been a, a, a render pass over the 3D image. And then they've uh, just taken the shadows from that render to get like the overlay to get that lighting effect. But it does a really good job at keeping the game optimized because this is just a bunch of images, rasterized pixels. So it's easy for the computer to render. It really, it really allows you to just a simple implementation means that you can really heavily rely on the art style. Very cool. All right, let's have a look. What do we got here? You're all set. Now, if you don't mind, I'll be on my way. Cheers, mate. The crate is nailed shut. Do you think we could pry the lid off? <laughs> With so many tools lying around, you know, that's sure typically, you I'll stay typically how crates out. arrive. Oh, nailed right. shut. I still have the key card to your office. Here you go. And don't worry, this mummified corpse won't be going anywhere without me. <laughs> the way the way she said that, this corpse won't be going anywhere without me. <laughs> I feel like that was very specific wording. Why did she say it like that? Right, let's have a look around. Exhibition. Scourge of the Sea. Alright. Roba. It's in here. Oh. Got this. Yeah. Here we go, open up the box. What's in the box? Oh, it's a pistol. To the museum curator. This flintlock pistol is a rare artifact. Probably tailor-made for the infamous Captain Harry Henry Remington. We discovered the pistol near Remington's grave site. Though it was buried in sand and tarnished by the salt. I don't know why I'm doing a pirate voice for this guy. Tarnished by the salt, it seems to gleam in the water. Strange. The diving team. Cool. I had to shoot things. Bit like a pistol. Oh, you can switch placements. Oh, that's cool. A uh, bunch of cutlasses. This cutlass is buried beneath other swords. I should move the topmost sword first. Okay. I got me a pistol and a sword. We need a crowbar to open this crate, but I don't know where to find one. Oh, we probably have one. Oh, 
need a key. You over here? Chip in a bottle from the 18th century. Seems you've had pirates enjoyed a good puzzle. Oh, we got the key card, right. Give that a good scan. Oh, this is my office. For me. So what do we need? We need a crowbar. Sarah. Oh, is that my name? Your new wall safe has been installed and the pirate artifact transferred to it, as requested. I wrote down the new safe code and left it on your desk. Bob. Good old Bob. Security officer, day shift. Cheers, Bob. Bob's a good guy. Know what this is? Yeah. R4L9R6L1R8. Wait, did I need to write that down? R4 L6. <laughs> I've already forgotten it. Oh, a key. Basement key. Oh, okay. What shall we find in the basement? Not working. The storm probably damaged it. Oh, that's not a good sign. That's how all horror movies start. Where's the safe? What's in the box? Get this dust out of here. Oh, we must always read a card first. Dear Sarah, according to my research, this small treasure chest belonged to Captain Remington. I was unable to unlock it, and I couldn't bear the thought of breaking it open, even though its contents will be more valuable still. Perhaps you can figure out the secret of its lock. Sincerely, Stan. From Stan Rafferty National Museum. Why, thank you, Sam. Stan. <laughs> An ornate jewelry box. I'm interested. Some kind of lock. E. I've already forgot what I was doing. In case of emergency break glass, I feel like we're gonna need to break this at some point. There's no escaping the deluge of paperwork. Oh, I feel you, I do not like paperwork. All right, so go. We had a key. We had. We had the the safe part. This is safe. Yes. Ooh. Back. Wrote down a new safe code left under the. Oh, it's a wall safe. There it is. Uh, I need the exact code to open the safe, of course. Rotate R. Okay, right. Oh, alright, that's... Oh. Left to nine. Back to six. And 
and to one and to eight. Oop. Eight. Hey, look at me go. What's inside? Objective. Eight. Dear Sarah, this necklace was found in the possession of old of an old Caribbean family. It is said that one of the ancestors had something to do with Captain Remington's oh Captain Remington. Therefore, I am se sending you sending this to you if you were to find the missing gem, this necklace would surely benefit your exhibit. Also from Stan Oh, cheers, Stan. We need to find the gemstone. Okay, so we need a crowbar. I'm assuming that's what the basement key is going to be for. Basement? No? no? Oh, yeah, there we go. Look at Basement. Light switch. Oh, look, right there. Thank you. of note artwork from rotating exhibits are often stored down here button here okay not to worry, everything is in working order. Well, I assume that means that this is going to break at some point. <laughs> Alright, let's have a look. We need a crowbar to open this crate, but I don't know where to find one. I got one. I give it to her. Oh yeah. All right. <laughs> I I even saw that coming. God ah, dang it. Oh, uh, I see what you got in your mouth. That's the gemstone, isn't it? Yeah, give me that. That's an odd thing to keep in your mouth. What's this? Sarah. According to the attached reproduction, Remington used uh, Remington used to wear specific accessories. You will not find these in the crate as they were delivered separately. Outfit Captain Remington in his full regala. Is that how you say that? Regala? Regale, regala. I'm just gonna say regala because I don't know how to say it otherwise. Before the showing, Professor Holmes, like Sherlock Holmes. Yes, I hope you receive my other package. Keep it in your office until you figure out how to open it. Okay, so your Professor Holmes is the one that sent the box, and Stan sent. The necklace? Hey. Okay. Oh wait, so what did it say to do? We need to give him his stuff. 
But, but I, I want to keep the pistol. Right. <laughs> That's strange. Oh, I see what's gonna happen. <laughs> Look, okay, if this happened in real life, I would be not doing this. Well, we got it, because otherwise it's not fun. <laughs> yes, it's definitely not a sign of something bad about to happen. Certainly not. Alright. Oh, we gotta get the necklace. Um. I need to... I need to get the neck. <laughs> this seems like a bad idea, but... Ooh. Oh, this is definitely magic. <laughs> the jewel casing claimed the gem as its own. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you don't think that's a bit suspicious? I gotta... Oh, wait, where'd the... Where'd the crowbar go? Take that. Wait, did I lose it? Was I supposed to do that? Nothing. Case of emergency. Oh, okay. I... I Maybe didn't know I had uses. Crowbar to do that? Um, alright. Which? Oh, it does work. That? Give me that. Alright, we gotta... Well, I mean, I kinda... Maybe I upgraded. Oh, Maybe it's I... gone from... Did I use up the crowbar? To hatchet? Flashlight. <laughs> I Which, feel like I'm going to need that to come in handy. Alright, what's doing an axe? I feel like I'm gonna need that. Axe is always good against a zombie. Alright, let's, let's get this <laughs> over and done with, shall hmm. we? And I let's mean, start the fun. Bit. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> it's a good thing I brought a torch. Don't worry, I got this covered. <laughs> Mom, uh, uh, uh. you know I'm scared of the dark. Could you check the fuse box? You say that like I did that. That wasn't me. That was the necklace. <laughs> All right, I guess. Back to the basement. Oh, we need a torch. Do we? Some sparkles. Oh. Fuses. What are we doing? Find a useful item. Oh, so we have to find these? Playing cards. Oh, these are covered. I got a grabby hand. do this. Main cards, extinguisher. This is extinguisher. Okay. What else we got? A monocle? Oh, another thing is covered. Monocle. Oh, found some glasses. 
Okay, we've got money call a mobile, I saw that there. Gloves. There. A pencil. Pen. Oh, pencil. Oh, cards right here. A horse. I saw a horse. I see that. Oh, there's another. A monocle. Oh, is that what that is? Monocle. Batteries. Driver? Am I supposed to do something? Maybe I have to open something. Oh, we get cap. A photo. Uh -huh. Oh, that changed color when I clicked on that. This is yellow, so does that mean... Does that mean I have to do something first? Battery. That must have to do with this. You have to pull that or something? Rock? Camera? What? Boxes? Aha! Walkie talkie! You have found useful items. Oh, I use for items. Uses. Oh. oh. So it's like a little mini game. Hmm, okay. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, easy. For me, become an electrician. Flick the switch. Abo Bayam. Yes. Look at me. The power has been restored. <laughs> Why do I feel like as soon as I leave this room, something's gonna happen? Oh, he's he's gone. We got Max. I'm ready. <laughs> this is alive. Okay. Hooah! <sighs> okay. First of all, my eyes. The, you just let it walk away. Just ran away, <laughs> and he dropped something in the crate in the wood shavings. You just stood there, like you didn't call out for help or anything. You just, all right, and leave. That thing. Oh, that's for the box. That's that symbol. But how did you let a zombie just walk past you? Mysteriously. And you didn't do anything. Maybe it's a key to something, like in adventure movies. Oh, look! I already figured that out. Okay, I already figured that. Out. All right, guys. Well, we're gonna end it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been part one of Nightmare from the Deep. I'm enjoying this so far. Got some uh, kind of interesting stuff happening. So we're gonna have like a, a haunted med, like a mention like a haunted museum type situation going on. Um, yeah. 
this has been fun so far. I like the puzzle aspects and the art styles. Um, it's it's so good. The the drawn effect, like it's digital painting meets three D, uh, and it's just it's really well done. It's uh, a great way to make a game with a lo-fi. Like like this could run on a tablet or a phone. Uh, the way it's been optimized and simplified from like a technical standpoint. I'm, I'm, I'm liking this game, it's really cool. Uh, and I'm glad I finally got around to playing it. Um, so yeah, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe, all that sort of stuff. And in the next video, we're going to come back and we're going to see what's inside the box. But until next time, thank you so much for watching. And yeah, see you in the next episode.